ChatGTP just came out a few months ago and it is clearly having a giant impact on the internet. The really important thing to pay attention to here is how big of an impact this is going to have on like the online creator, freelancer, online business space. We are going to see the impact of this technology way faster than a lot of industries. And so in this video right here, we're gonna be talking about what are the big things that you need to be keeping an eye on and how can you prepare for the changes that are coming so that you can make sure that you come out on top. So just think about a lot of the people who get started making a living online as freelancers. You've got people who are copywriters, video editors, photographers, graphic designers, you've got landing page builders, media buyers. All of these jobs are gonna be impacted by AI and they're probably gonna get hit a lot faster than a lot of traditional jobs that are in industries that don't adopt technology as quickly. Chat GTP in its current version is already able to help rewrite copy. So if you've played with it at all, it's not great at coming up with a bunch of original copy, but we at my agency have already been using it to create copy variations. So when we have a winning headline, we can go into Chat GTP, tell it to write out 10 more headlines just like that. I used to pay a copywriter $100 an hour to do that. Now I can do it in five minutes with Chat GTP, and then all I need is someone who's really copy savvy to come on top of that and just make a few tweaks. Now just expand that out to the next version of Chat GTP, or when you start getting Jasper, that's getting a lot more intelligent. And soon these tools are actually gonna be able to create copy that's pretty good. Keep in mind that Jasper, one of the big AI copywriting companies, just got $125 million in funding and just got valued at $1.5 billion. That kind of investment is happening because these kinds of tools are gonna dramatically change the way content and copy is created online. Another huge one here is video editing. So companies like Descript are already making it so that people who are not very good video editors can edit their own videos just by editing text. I could take this video, load it up into Descript, I don't need a video editor. All I have to do is cut out any areas where I don't want what I said in the video and Descript will automatically remove all of that for me. Now Descript just got another big round of funding from OpenAI. So they're going to be integrating ChatGTP and Dolly into Descript so that soon what you'll be able to do is make videos from text. Now you can already use Descript to create voiceovers from AI. I can upload 10 minutes of my content and then Descript can create my voice from that video and all I have to do is type in what I want myself to say and Descript will make that happen. Just take that a few steps forward and soon what you're gonna be able to do is upload a couple of minutes of you talking and then type out the script that you want and Descript will be able to make a voiceover in your voice and then you just type out the visuals that you want and it will create that b-roll and that visual scene for you. Another AI company Runway is already making it so that all you have to do is type in what you want the visual scene to be and it will AI generate that b-roll for you. So already just right there, we're talking about people who write content online, write copy online, and edit videos being impacted really quickly by AI. Another freelance service that a lot of people offer is data analysis. Now what's already happening is instead of needing to hire a data analyst, you will just connect your platforms to AI, and AI will start to tell you what are the important insights that you need based on the data you're showing. We're already seeing this come out for Facebook ads, Google Analytics, Google Ads, where you can just connect your platform to AI, and then it will tell you what are the most important insights that you need and generate weekly reports for you, which is something that's a full-time job at a lot of agencies right now. And then on the image side for graphic designers, we've already got companies like Midjourney and Dali who are able to generate really great images just from text. And there's already softwares coming out that just plug this in for business applications. So we're talking about logos, brand designs, brand packets. Imagine when you're designing a new product and you need to do all the things for social media and create new logos and all of that stuff. Soon, all you're gonna have to do is type it into an AI tool and it's gonna shoot out for you all of the different social media banners and logos and everything you need to get started. So hopefully just with a few of these examples, you can already see how big of an impact AI is going to have on the freelancer economy. Keep in mind, ChatGTP3 is already just the free version that they released to the public not that long ago, just so people could get a feel for how it works. And this has already been mind blowing. So this is the big mindset shift that freelancers and people who are working online providing services need to start making. This is the shift that I'm making. This is the shift that I'm teaching everyone that works for me to be thinking. And this is the shift that I'm hoping you start making right now after watching this video. If you see yourself as the person who does the output, that means you are the person who writes the email, you are the person who does the video editing, you are the person who creates the thing, that is going to be really hard to do when AI can do your job faster and cheaper than what you are doing it for now. Now, if you become the person who is responsible for actually delivering the result that they are purchasing that thing for, it's gonna be much harder to replace you. Because in the future, what you are probably going to see is a lot of human-assisted AI, where AI is generating the value 
vast majority of the output and you have a human who is there for quality control and directing it through prompts to make sure it's doing the thing that it needs to be doing. And what's gonna happen for those people is their output is gonna be way higher than the average person can deliver without using AI. So imagine an email copywriter where and normally in a week, an email copywriter might be able to write 30 emails. Now you've got someone who's using AI and they're able to deliver 300 emails. That's because the AI is actually creating all the emails. The person who is actually directing it is just doing the prompts and making sure the outputs are correct. Now 300 might seem like a really big number, but that might not be that far off as AI gets better. So I think the best thing that all of us who are in the services freelancer space can start doing is getting used to AI. Get to know how it works because AI is really only as good as the prompts and the inputs that it gets into the machine. So if you can keep up with the technologies that are coming out and start learning how to use them, start giving it prompts daily and figuring out what actually works and keeping a list of the prompts that work really well for you, what you'll be able to do is increase your own productivity and increase your own outputs using AI to help you become a better service provider at whatever you're doing instead of having other people do that and you're still operating at a lower level because you just can't compete with the speed that AI has. The other thing you can do is if you are like a freelancer or an individual is getting better at the big picture stuff that AI can't do. Writing Facebook ads is going to easily become replaceable with AI. The smarter it gets, the better it's gonna be able to create copy that converts. It's gonna be pretty easy for AI to be able to write Facebook ads. Now actually coming up with a strategy to help a company grow their business using Facebook ads, developing the creative strategy, the offers, and everything that they need in order to be successfully growing their business is not something that AI is gonna be able to do very easily. That's still gonna need a big picture strategy person to oversee all of that. And then you can learn how to use AI or have people on your team use AI to write all your ads for you. And then you can be controlling the overall strategy inside of that account. Now, none of this is meant to be like a scare tactic or tell you things are going to be terrible. I think this is a huge opportunity. But the thing is, we need to keep up with what's going on because I really do think we're gonna see a huge shift in the jobs that are happening online because people who use AI are basically gonna become superhumans and people who refuse to use it at all are just aren't gonna be able to compete with the output that someone who's using AI can have. The other thing to remember is like, we're just on like V1 of all of this. Chat GTP3 just came out a few months ago. They're already talking about four, but think about once we start getting like five, six, seven, eight, how smart this is gonna be. Once we start getting into like enterprise level additions of this stuff, once we're looking like four or five years down the line, this is where we're gonna start to see huge impacts in our industry. People who learn how to use this technology, leverage it to provide a better outcome to their clients and people who build a brand for themselves, people who are the face of the people who are actually the company that is using this technology, they're gonna be able to get ahead. And the people who don't use this technology, they don't want to adopt it. They're gonna have a harder time competing. The really positive outcome here is we can all spend more time doing stuff we enjoy, spending more time working on projects that we like with people that we like, and we can all have a more enjoyable work life. The negative outcome here though is if you don't keep up, your job could just get removed by AI or someone could figure out how to do your job better with AI and you just won't get hired. So I know all of this with AI is really early and we're gonna have to see how this develops, but I really think anyone who is in our space, if you are watching this channel because you're the type of person who's growing online businesses, working online, running ads, doing marketing, anything like that, you need to keep up with this because this is gonna have a huge impact on our industry. I am going to be keeping up with this and I'm gonna be posting a lot on this channel about how we see this evolve. So if you want more information, please just hit the like button to tell me that you like this video. I'll make more content like this. Subscribe so you can figure out when we have more videos like this coming out and I will catch you on the next video. Hope you have a good one.